Last week, we told you about an anti-gun documentary that was edited so pro-gun citizens seem stumped by Katie Couric's question on background checks. It was done to make her look smart and them dumb. If there are no background checks for gun purchasers, how do you prevent felons or terrorists from purchasing a gun? I mean, come on. Amazing. But then uncut audio revealed that the guests weren't so dumb after all. How do you prevent felons or terrorists from walking into, say, a licensed gun dealer and purchasing a gun? Well, one, if, if you're not in jail, you should still have your basic rights and you should go buy a gun. So uh, if you're a terrorist or a felon? If you're, if you're a felon and you've done your time, you should have your rights. Well, the fact is we do have statutes, both at the federal and state level, that prohibit classes of people from being in possession of firearms. Uh, they're smarter than she is. After first dismissing this deception, Couric now admits to it, blaming a director's need for a dramatic pause. That sound you just heard is a bus driven by Katie rolling over her staff. So why did she change her tune? Because she got caught. Think about it. If the incident hadn't been secretly taped, you think she would have coped to it? You got to wonder how many other segments by Couric, Brian Williams, John Stewart, or others <coughs> would have been more fair if they knew someone was holding them accountable. The gun edit was made to avoid embarrassment and distort the truth. Consider their panic when suddenly flyover gun toting guests show up and they're smarter and more prepared than the host. The solution rearrange, insert, and remove. Imagine playing checkers, and every time you capture an opponent's piece, the game is rewound, and it's your piece that's taken. That's the media versus the right. As elite propagandists, their main goal is to look smarter than you. So before any interview with the media, remember, always press record. Not only do you protect yourself and the truth, you also keep people like Katie honest, because someone has to.